game over. We are so far uh, from in, in terms of a point. Uh, one of the reasons is we have to accept it also that they are doing an excellent job. And they won 19 games, 19 victories already in the league. Uh, it's an excellent record. And sometimes happen that someone is winning, winning, winning. That's one of the reasons why we are far. And then we do our own analysis. Uh, I, it's not my role, obviously, analyze why, why they are uh, getting those results. Uh, and I, I, I can say that I know why we are, we are far, obviously. Imagine if I say that I don't know. I do know. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, there's uh, multiple reasons. There's not only one reason. But yeah, we know the reasons. We are working on it. Uh, but now we are focusing in the challenges that we have ahead of us, which is uh, get that second, second position, you know, badly with all of our strength to, to, to finish there because it's the maximum that we can achieve uh, this season. And in the end of the season, we will have time to, to analyze and, and realize the way that we can reduce that gap. That is, is a fact already. In our kickoff, Jose Riviero, the Orlando Pirates coach, saying that uh, he admits that they're far from where Sundowns is, but he knows why they are far. And uh, for now, he's just focused on getting that second position. Talk to me, Buccaneers. What do you make of your coach's comments saying, yeah, he's very well aware. They cannot compete with Sundowns at the moment. They're too far ahead, he says. 86 2160 WhatsApp one 60 Welcome to it, and thank you so much for the touchdown. They do it again for the last time this week, tomorrow, between 3 and 6. This is Sports Not Amplified with Andy Le. I am Andy Le. Ngobe. Oh, man, what a show we've got planned out for you over the next hour. But firstly, we're going to reflect on Hugo Bruce. I sat with him um, at 12 o'clock. Was it 12? Yeah, 12 o'clock, between 12 and 1 this afternoon. And he delivered to us uh, the state of football address, which he gave us a 23-man squad he selected to take on Liberia on the 24th and 28th over two legs. A victory in both ensures that Bafana Bafana go to uh, the uh, CAF competition. It ensures that we go to the Africa Cup of Nations. That's where we are at the moment. We need two games, home and away, against Liberia. At the moment, Morocco said it was six points. And us, Zimbabwe, kicked off of our group, obviously because of the issues with the FIFA, which leaves us in Liberia as to who is going to go through to join Morocco. I mean, it's really, guys, if we're unable, if we're unable to get six points against Liberia in order to make it to the Africa Cup of Nations, then I wonder if we deserve to be there. Eight players selected from Sundowns in that squad. Percy Dow makes a welcome return back. So does Lyle Foster. All of that when we return. <laughs> Sikukune United are not about dropping further down in the DSTV Premiership. 
Meanwhile, their visitors, Chipper United, are seeking for nothing but a fat three points to avoid the relegation zone. United versus United. Will Babina Nogo sing a song of victory? Or will the Chili Boys walk out more United? Check Sikukune United and Chipper United on Saturday, 18 March at 2.30 p.m. Live on SABC1 and your favorite SABC radio stations. Hashtag, we love it here. Brought to you by SABC Sport. Renault brings you the ultimate way to win a brand new Renault. Simply test drive a Clio 5 to stand a chance to win the top of the range Clio 5 in 10. Experience the Renault difference. Visit your nearest Renault retail dealer today to test drive and win a brand new Clio 5. Teas and supply. <laughs> la le la. Nobody switches Mzansi on Jengati. I mean, first things first, you need Ubetina Way to at 9 p.m. to shake things up Monday to Wednesday. Best so far got that weekday drama from Generations at 8 p.m. and Rosalo at 8.30 p.m. Then you add some flavor from the Metro FM Awards 6 May at 8 p.m. After all that, you need a little spice from Played It Up. Every Friday, just for control, starts 10 May at 6 p.m. And just like that, sit on. Giving you your favorite shows season after season. SABC One, Mzansi, for sure. The Metro FM Music Awards 2023 are back in Pompella, Pomalanga. The awards return to honor and celebrate the best of South African talent. To stand by for the nominee announcements and get ready to vote for your favorite artist. Just the biggest night on the South African music calendar going down on the 6th of May at the Mombella Stadium of Pomalanga, the place of the rising sun. Metro FM, it's where you're at. Yeah, we gon' get em. get get connected. WhatsApp the Metro FM studio. 060-552-7303. Call. Call the Metro FM live studio. 0860-002-160. It's exactly 14 after the hour 6. So today's story on Throwback Thursday is one that's had me put away the journalistic nature of who I am and the humane part of who I am sprang out. We're going to get to that story in just a little bit because we do have guests for it. If you are on social media, I'm pretty sure you would have seen the story of Kai Little Shows. For those of you who haven't, I'm sure if you look up Kai Little Shows, because it's important in the telling of the story, get onto your social media. There is a picture that's floating around of Kai Little Shows. Kai Little Shows was once upon a time a huge prospect of South African football playing for M Tigers, Sundowns, Supersport United, where he went on loan and then back to Sundowns. He played for Black Leopards. He played for uh, Richards Bay, TS Galaxy, JDR Stars before going back to TS Galaxy. He's now 28 years old. And there was always a bright future ahead of him. Hence, he was at one of the most prestigious clubs in this country. He was at Sundowns, right? The pictures went around and we're all able to see pictures of a man who's just a shadow of himself. Then the stories started going around of the mental state of how Shorzy is. You could see in the picture the broken shoes. Um, you know, uh, he looked all sorts of ways. Speaking to his brother and his coach saying, no, there are serious mental issues with him, but also he's homeless, living in the streets, eating in the streets at the moment. Many people went and got him and got him onto shows and, you know, tried to get stuff out of him. But we questioned ourselves to say, if we bring Shozi onto the show and have conversations with him, which, by the way, we were very ambitious to think so, because we saw Kylie Shozi a little bit earlier today when we went to pick him up as well as his team. He's not in a state in which he can hold a conversation. In fact, said zero words to myself and my producer, Tim. To bring him onto this radio station, have him seated in the studio, number one, is endangering everybody that's in here because of what we saw with our own eyes. Number two, it's endangering the very equipment of our cameras that are broadcasting this and streaming it live on Twitter as well as on Facebook. And later on, uh, we do go on to Instagram and YouTube, SABC Sport.
It's endangering that. The very hotel he's staying at now. Glasses are broken. Things are thrown out the window. That's the state the man is in. So to bring him here for our entertainment would be wrong. What do we do differently? We received a call from the Pizza Musimane Foundation through Moira Musimane and Pizza, who are both at the moment in Saudi Arabia. And they said, hey, Pizza knows him all too well, coached him, and he's not happy with what he's seeing. He wants to help. That's the story. But before we got, we get there, because I know it's important. We have to deal with the business of what happened today. What happened today is that we had uh, Coach Hugo Bruce of Bafana Bafana sitting with myself, uh, Mazala Mulefa, and Coach uh, Simpiwet Lutu to tell us his plans for the two games on the 24th and 28th of this month. Two games that Bafana Bafana need to get six points from in order to qualify and make it through to the AFCON. The man he's picked, I can give you the squad now, eight Sundowns players in that team that he's selected, Coach Hugo Bruce. It starts, of course, with um, captain as well as goalkeeper Ronwin Williams, Veli Motwa of Amazulu. Ricardo Goss of Super Sports United makes a um, uh, uh, birth into here. Sydney Moby of Skukune, Orlando Pirates' duo of Mayela and Sibisi are there. You've got Sundowns as Morena, Mudiba, Kekana, and Mvala. Sianda Kulu makes a return. He plays his football out at Azerbaijan now. And you've got Luke Leroux, who plays in Sweden. Jabula Blom, who's uh, since moved to the USA. Spello Lusitole, who plays in Lisbon. You've got Mamluri Sundowns again in Debo Homokwena. Munapule Seleng of Orlando Pirates. Sundowns is Temba Zwane. Zakele Lepasa of Orlando Pirates is currently on loan at, Su- at Super Sports United. Kaisha Smailula of Sundowns. Playing his football in Cyprus, you've got Mithali Mayambela. The USA is uh, Bongogu Tlongwane, who plays for Minnesota there. You've got Burnley's uh, out in Manchester's Lyle Foster and the return, of course, of Percy Dow of Egypt. The one thing that stood out there was the fact that we might not see Blom in this team, simply because Blom's team is not answering Safa or the coach when they're asking, can the player join them? They're saying he's sick. He says he thinks he's got COVID. The coach says, go take a test so you know for sure. There seems to be games being played. That's what Hugo Bruce had to say about speaking to Bradley Cornell. We are now, how many? 20 Almost hours awesome. later. Yeah. We didn't have an answer till now. Yeah. So are you uh, nervous well, he doesn't I'm going show up, coach? I'm sorry? Are you nervous a little bit that he doesn't show up? No, I'm angry. I'm not nervous, I'm angry. This is not correct. Yeah. Or you tell them, us, okay, this is the problem, and he has COVID. Okay, we have to change. And when this, the situation is not clear, you're starting to think about things that maybe are not there. He continues to speak about Blom a little bit more. Remember, he selected Blom. He sent all the requirements through to the team. But seemingly, Hugo Bruce seems to think that they want to keep Blom because they've got an important game that they need to play. First of all, and, and, and okay, we will see what uh, how things are going in the next hours. But um, uh, and Jabula played the first two games. Last game he didn't play. So we had immediately contact with uh, with St. Louis and asked, okay, what's happening? And they said, yeah, it's not uh, so hard. It's not so. Um, he's sick. Okay, he's sick. Okay, what, 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 what is sick? What, what? <laughs> hmm. That's Hugo Brose there speaking about Njabu Blom. He continues to say, if Njabu Blom does not come and they field him, he'll be speaking to FIFA about it. But I saw that in America, next week, there's a league game. 26th, they play. Mm. Also, the, the team of, uh, of uh, Longwane. But okay, Longwane, there's no problem. And I'm afraid that they are trying to keep Njabula there. That will not happen. We know the rules. So when he doesn't come with a, a correct reason, he will not play with them. Because then we go to FIFA. I'm very angry about that, really. He selected his squad. We're going to be dissecting it with Pro Pilan as well as Nadim tomorrow. A show you don't want to miss, but you can comment if you so please on 060-552-7303. Let's take a break. When we come back on the other side, we begin to try and unfold a very complex and sensitive story of a, a future of South African football whose light at the moment has been dimmed. 
Want to know the secret to soft and beautiful underarms? Try new Nevia Pearl and Beauty Black Pearl deodorant. Enriched with black pearl extracts and a premium long-lasting fragrance. Feel beautiful and confident all day with new Nevia Pearl and Beauty Black Pearl. Get free accessories valued at 18,000 Rand when you pick up any robust and reliable Mahindra single cap bucky until the 31st of March. This includes a set of alloy wheels, a fitted tow bar, and rubberizing, giving your business that extra drive to conquer any venture, no matter the road. But stock is limited, so act fast. Visit your nearest Mahindra dealer today or visit mahindra.co.za and book your test drive. T's and C's apply. There is still 90 minutes ahead of the Sudanese heroes Al Hilal and South Africa's Mamelodi Sundowns in the CAF Champions League Group B contest. The Blue Wave wants to level matters after going down 1-0 against Masandawana in the first leg. But Bafana Bastal have elevated their brand of football to a league of their own. Do not miss out on the CAF Champions League clash between Al Hilal and Mamelodi Sundowns this Saturday, 18 March at 3 p.m. Live on SABC Sport DTT Channel 4, Open V124. Also available on SABC Plus and SABC Sport.com. Hashtag We Love It Here. Brought to you by SABC Sport. For the love of the game. This is Sport Night Amplified with Undealer. Okay. Morgan Mamila. Out of all 30, is it 35 or 36 coaches? I'm the only head coach who has won four games in a row. There's no one. Tendence did it. I don't think so. Tendence did it, I think, uh, in his second stint, but I'll, I'll double check that for I'll you, double check, uh, double check. So you win four in a row. And tell me if uh, I'm the only luckiest coach in South Africa to win four games in a row in Piazza. The answer is no. And most coaches that are coaching in Piazza, uh, they didn't even win five games. Is there? So then what happened? Look, uh, last season, Chiba uh, United only won five games, the entire 30 games. I managed that in 14 matches. You still haven't answered my question. What happened? I've even lost in less matches than other coaches that are there. Uh, <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> this is Sport Night Amplified. Powered by SABC Sports. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We gonna get, on, get, get connected. What's at the Metro FM studio? 060-552-7303. I think uh, Coach Hugo Bruce made a big mistake by leaving out Kuliso Motel. No, 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 no. That was Evening, the Andy, the children from Orlando. The coach of Pirates is being realistic, telling him everyone that <laughs> the club is far behind them sometimes. They had a striker coach, positive results were there, yet they didn't renew the contract. What does it say about the club? The club is not looking to compete with the likes of Sundowns in terms of picking up the coach. Thanks. Hey, ma ah. Good evening, bro. Ah, you know, as far as the coach Emma Pagani is concerned, I ah, mean, I don't think there is any supporter at the moment who supports soccer who will be like mad at their coach for not competing with Sundowns. Man, Sundowns is way ahead of everyone in everything. So let's just leave Sundowns alone. Man. Paris should just worry about being number two. So does so does any other team we should should all worry to be number two that should that should be everybody's position at the moment hmm. other than that means so it's about sugar level coach and delay yes got this is one you listen as a lay oh bruce but then oh she are um down a pant and um down experience africa we are done set off for a space in is a my living mela fagi logancho um down and the and as lapo we come again john cause um, form of a mind, but then um, she young apparently. If you listen to my coach, you go to seven seconds and complain, I'm a lap or and delay. Dumsani la wam sanga in Pumalang. Dumsani, I'll play you his reason tomorrow. Evening, Miss Andy. Yes, Pershant, you sound from the wall. Yeah, I just would like to comment about Coach Riviere. It's too late, a little too late. Yeah, those excuses can't work now. They, when they beat us 3 0. In the MTN age, it was uh, blue and dove, uh, whatever. Yeah, coming to the Bafana Bafana, I think Coach Bruce is now to prove us that why he's been here in South Africa since the first time he signed to to, to, to come and coach Bafana Bafana. Those are uh, uh, must-win games. There's no excuse at this level. I think uh, on Saturday uh, at Loftus, they, they, we had a uh, half of Bafana teammate display what a game we saw that we have quality pass yeah 
glimpse of the old person that I know. Uh, I hope that he's gonna help Bafana big time. <laughs> big up to Joshua. Thank you very much, Bishop. Hey, how's it, Andy and the listeners? Hey, our coach is really disappointing us, man. Uh, the guy should just learn how to be confident uh, about himself before he can expect any any good outcomes from his team. He should just gain self-confidence. I mean, Sundowns, Sundowns is just another team, just like any other team in the in the, in the, in the, in the PSL. So he should just gain confidence and stop disappointing us as the, as the supporters. Sharp and deep. Hmm. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate those. Like I say, tomorrow we'll go into detail, of course, on the stories of the week. I'm going to have um, Nadim Lukele come into the studio. We'll even go and uh, have a listen to what Morgan Maimila had to say yesterday. We'll have uh, at Pro Pilane as well. After Jabu will talk to us about some of the stories that we're going to be covering, including the stats uh, that uh, Morgan was speaking about. Which other coaches ever won five in a row? Is there? Listen tomorrow at Pro Pilani. We'll let you know uh, because he seems to think at four in a row he's reached, uh, you know, the apex of um, achievement uh, as what he did. I mean, great. I mean, absolutely. Take nothing away from that achievement. But is it the best ever? The coach wants to know. So we'll let him know tomorrow. 28 of the hour six. Now, I've said this a couple of times. The picture trended on social media with people asking the question, is this really the man himself? Is this Kaya Shozi? that many watched as a youngster coming up, uh, um, you know, and uh, playing football for Sundowns, going on loan at these multiple teams. TS Galaxy was the last team that we all remember seeing him at. JDR Stars, even, he's been there. Is this the player that we're seeing in the picture? In the picture that's been trending, of course, uh, I think it was out uh, just outside of Joburg, we could see a young man very resemblant of what uh, Kashosi used to look like. But, of course, you know, there seems to be a lot that's taken a toll on him. He doesn't quite have the body that he used to have. He is um, with broken shoes um, and he does not look to be himself. We didn't want to do the story simply because why do it? You do it with what it offer. You just share his pain with the world, share his trauma with the world and move along until the Musimanes, uh, Moira as well as Bezos said, hey, we think we might know how we can deal with this. We spoke as well, and they're going to be joining us. Uh, SAFU, South African Football Players Union, Tebo who's a vice president, will be joining us soon because we said, let's find a way to do it. Now, Timmy, I'm going to ask Timmy, um, I don't do this often where we have Timmy come on the mic, but I'm going to ask Timmy to come on the mic because we went out to where they were staying with his brother who joins me now in studio, um, Usim Piwa Shores. Timmy, if you can just grab this mic here. And uh, we went all the way to meet up with Kaya so that we can bring him to studio. But I can tell you that Kaya's not in studio, Timmy. Timmy, you saw Kaya. Yes, uh, good evening, Andile. Good, good evening to the listeners. Um, yes, Andile, um, I've, I've, I saw Kaya um, today when I went to go and fetch um, the brothers in Piwe and also Umkatesh. Uh, so yeah, I, and I, Kaya as well, because he was supposed to be here. Kaya once. was yes, but and I still remember even what was he wearing. He was wearing a black jeans, looking very smart, eh? Looking very lovely, I must say. And not for the safety, the picture that we saw on Twitter, yeah. I mean, very much uh, different. Yeah. But for the safety of everybody in here, for the safety of the equipment that's in here, for the safety, we decided it is better not to have Kaya come into this building. In fact, through the advice from, from the brother, because he said, you know, I went upstairs, I find you throw things out of the window and the jeans, you see. So I felt, okay, it's it's also not fair, you know. Um, yes, we are chasing stories, but we we need to be human about it, you know, and understand the situation that, you know, the family is going through, especially Kaya, because I don't think he's in a position to, to even talk. Um, yes, he can be able to articulate, um, but but we felt it, 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 it was just not right. Thank you very much, uh, Timmy T, the producer of the show there, of course. Simbio Shows now joins me alongside the coach, Nkuru Lego. But let me start with you. Oh, um, yeah, well, well, and, um, ah, uh, well, um, yeah, well, no, 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 uh, e situation are in beginning now. Uh, being a call Lula up until I'm told that because I've been trying 
hard wum tola zame ngendle lengizamangayo eh office which eh bengenayo bengekho powerful kwezinye isikhathi singakanani nomfuno umcingo ngamtholi how long was he missing for i think uh, everyone knows about the le nto enzakalayo le south africa about the ukhayeli hle shows eh engifisayo nengizele khona la eh nokungusukumisile babu uandile gijable yakhulu uma ukuthi le ndaba yabhutwa me seyifike eh seyikhulunya na u kochi umkhulu wala e south africa u babu pitsa umsimane eh njengoba ngila nje estudio yona into engisukumisile ngakwazi ukuthi ngingezi naye because akekho uh, i good condition ukuthi angakwazi ukukhuluma i don't believe ukuthi eh kuno muntu ongakwazi ukuletha umuntu akubo kule simo lesi akusona njengamanje eh enginga kakhulu kuna abantu abadlala indima inkulu kule nto ka khayeli hlabazama ukungisiza nge ngako konke ngamandla abo wonke eh aba obaba u victim life eh okuyena okwazile ukuthi azame ukusondelana nam eh kunobantu abakhona abamele ibhola lase case 10 akuyibona nabo abakwazi ukunceda ngezinye zezinye izinto engibhekene nazo la e Johannesburg ukhaya uthi umfunile wamfica wazomthola ube lahle ke isikhathi singakanani eh eh babu u angathi uthi umfunile wazomfica yebo ya ube lahle ke isikhathi singakanani umfuni umesithi akekho lahle kile bekuwe isikhathi singakanani leso ngicabanga ukuthi wonke umuntu okhona la South Africa eh uh, o oguma social media ele uh, each and every time then to akhaya mayenza kala izovela kuma social media then uh, i don't wanna ukuthi ngiveze ukuthi ingasipha isikhathi but this thing it happened two years uh, yenza kala so he'll disappear for three months for four months for six months isikhathi singana nanla esuke eduke khona uh kozimfuna ukuqala ukuthi ungibona isithombe sesibonile ukuthi sifuna ukubona ukuthi isimo asithole isikhathi esingakanani engaphandle leso mm ezi site kakhulu baba site kakhulu ongangokuba kuyenzeka ahambe 3 month 4 month even 5 month because we know all of us is yazi ukuthi ukhaya lihle umfana odlala ibhola njengoba singamboni manje engekho active even ema timini la wagcina ukwadlalela eh ngicabanga ukuthi into eyenzakalayo ngaye wonke umuntu uyayazi umthole be ngimthole eh endaweni eh yasevale eh angilazi lokishi kahle kahle ngegama lalo kodwa ngimthole evale Beyakwazi when you guys talk man cool me san uyakuzi yakwazi ukuphendula ngumbuzo ukuthi ufike kanjani lapho yakwazi ukuthi this is how i got here yebo baba si namhlanje ngike ngaba na conversation naye eh sahlala phansi sakhuluma almost an hour eh ngifisa ukuthola kahle ukuthi kwenzakalani eh kuningi engikutholayo bathi thu ukuvela la ukuzosha ukuthi ngisukumiswe ukuthi sichazele bela what you're doing simple is uyale uyale sichazele sumdini sila sisonke sinibizile sichazele what is going on according to your knowledge what have you seen what are the conversations you're having with your brother no the only thing i i could my ukhaya kumina o mjela ngwe simo aphekel naso ukuthi kunezinto ezingekho akekho right eh so ngicabanga ukuthi akukho kuningi engagcina ngikukhuluma engikufisayo nokungibekela kisukumiswe elikababa upitsa umsimane eh naye mamele njengamanje ufuna ukwazi ngobubona isithombe yeah ufuna ukwazi lokho ngikubuza kona 
sonke sifuna ukwazi ngoba angeke wanceda umuntu edinqede fana ukumbuza ukwenza kalana asho ukuthi kuyasha ngize namanzi asho ukuthi ngiyacwila ngize ngizongene emanzini kodwa mengazi ngikinceda kanjani no baba ngiyakuzo kahle baba uwandile ngicabanga ukuthi le nto kakhaya lihle iyenzakala namanje ukhaya akekho right the only thing engiyifisayo ukuyithola usizo sengiwenzile ama interview i've been doing ama I'm, interview i realize this usizo yeah. lunjani eh uh, angeke ngifune ukuvela ngosizo because eh, some other time abanye abantu bakusebenzisa ngendlela engekho right nendlela but simply he, he asked we you know we had to come for you to come on here for us to get the help akungabi mm. ngathi manje ngikufosile kusekunzima ukuthi uzokukhuluma lebala esilukhulumayo yeah mhlambe manje ibeke bala ngokubuka kwakho Nati must book his tomb. Don't call us if you say anything. Okaya is he okay mentally? Go going on. He's not okay. And when you understand, fun what is going on again, and we know what is not okay because of interzenzayo. As far as I know, but shock me na eluti munga sala na yunga born into the jungles. Into the akul mangayo, into the enza isinto ngakona enga gushunje baba. Okaya njengo benge correct. Ma ukube u right ukhaya ngabo se ground eni ngabe unethima adlala kuyo akekho right wenzani ngekho right waze kubonisa ukuthi akekho right njengoba ubona baba kuma social media sibonisa thombe 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 ya eh a kuningo kwenzakalayo ke odi ukucabanga kancane we're going to bring in the coach as well odi ukucabanga kancane let's take a very quick break we're having a conversation that's very sensitive and it's very understandable for the brother who simply shows you who's here and like i said the reason kai is not in studio with us who was supposed to be a guest because well i mean it's for the safety of everyone here let's take a break this is the touchdown we need to document this playboy with with, with tebo tebo touch i'm going to be playing real quick stingy the high got to me How are you, Timotaj? Yo, I'm with Zonke. How do you think I'm doing? <laughs> you having a touchdown? I mean, can I just do the Zonke and Sanje? Oh, go see him. Yes, me, oh, yeah. Put on the long gag, baby. Yay. Yeah. 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 And the last one. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Metro. Kibo, Kibo, Taj. <laughs> Touchdown on Metro FM. Cable thieves stop you from cooking a delicious meal for your family. So stop them. They stop you from watching your favorite soap please. So stop them. They stop your children from studying. So stop them. By calling 0800 11 2722 or the SAPS. You can stop cable thieves before they stop you. Stop them. and take your power back a message from escom let's move from sanzi was an hour get your mercedes benz sprinter in kanyezi with a tailored finance plan which includes a fixed interest rate to help you navigate economic turbulences then kanyezi offers enough space to carry more passengers and comfort for an enjoyable journey together let's move your business forward this offer is exclusive to mercedes benz financial services tis and c's apply Visit a participating commercial dealership or search Sprinter offers online today. Mercedes-Benz Vans. Open up to rewards and recognition on the Insider SA this Monday evening at 6 as sure to be world title contender Kane Fury gets ready to rumble. Dion Daniels reinvents his career to create your dream wedding gown and find you your fantasy home. Plus fitness success story Lisa Rally gets us off our laptops and on the move. That's the Insider SA this Monday evening at 6. Repeat Saturday at 1 p.m. on S3. We don't get on get get connected. What's at the Metro FM studio? 0605527303. Call. Call the Metro FM live studio. 0860-002-160.
This is Sport Night Amplified with Andile. Morgan Mamila. So why aren't you looking for a coaching job then? What are you looking for? I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something else. I need to do something else. You know, they say there are people who are born rich and technically experienced. I think I'm one of them. Maybe I must go and be a groundsman. The, the field will be proper and nicer. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Morgan, <laughs> have you retired or not? I've retired. But you want an opportunity to coach? No. If <laughs> if being asked to coach, yes, I'll. Then you're not retired, coach. I've retired. Morgan has retired coaching. Unless people now force me like they I was forced, then I'll do it. <laughs> this is Sport Night Amplified, powered by SABC Sports. Let's go. Call. <laughs> Call the Metro FM Live Studio, 0860-002-160. The mighty Metro FM, saving the airwaves from the zonal uproar. Zonal uproar. Uh, afternoon, Andile and uh, Metro listeners. Yeah, I... I saw on Twitter that uh, picture about Kaya, uh, what a disturbing picture you could see of a boy that we all know that he was even playing in PSL Premier League, you know. Um, you know, one of the guys that came up very good from from our MDC together with Percy Dow and um, he managed to get, in fact, uh, to sign his contract even earlier than Percy Dow, to be honest. as one of those players that uh, we've always, uh, you know, the program that we always have at Mamelodis and now to promote the players from MDC. Um, yeah, it's a sad situation, but uh, yeah, we can talk about it. And uh, the question is, what are we willing to offer to can help, you know? So I've spoken to my office at the PMSS, which is Pitum Simana Soccer Schools, um, that um, to try and absorb him into the program, because one of the key points of of PMSS is to develop coaches, and uh, and 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 also the focus is on those coaches who are developed. Where do we come, where do we get them from? main focus too is to get ex players to be part of that program because they know the game and everything and also to give them a chance to coach if they want to coach you know some of them might uh, want to start to be the, to start coaching and they don't have opportunities where to start so come to the schools and and that's where you can learn you know and um we also have uh, uh, we know that the players union is also has a program Tulahanyo, the players you know have got a program of dealing with the ex players on on issue on psychology and maybe depression, you know, the all the social aspects that normally contribute to the the uh, to the depression of players, you know. Um so we can offer that space and uh, uh, we have a D license. We want we the the requirement is is uh, you must come and have a D license, come with a D license and also police clearance to work in in our program, which is at the schools. But we have also Augustine Makalagana who's heading my program, who is also a CAF instructor and who also instructor for coaches, as I say. And um, also the players, you know, have got a situation where they've got a program of, of helping players to get D licenses. So that's where we can contribute so that uh, maybe we can get him something that keeps him busy uh, with something that he loves, which is football, and uh, and help him that he can find a purpose in life. And and football is, is his space. So that's where we can uh, help and contribute and uh, educate him and, uh, and also a uh, placement that he, he has a job. So... We, we can offer in that role. So, yeah, so sad to see Kaya. Oh, what, a, what a winger, right winger, quick, fast, play on the left and on the right. Oh, top quality, you know. But anyway, the situation is the way it is now. So what do we do? We can talk about it. We can talk about him. We can do that. How do we contribute moving on? 
you know so i hope other guys can come in and also all these uh, foundations and all these people can contribute and let's make a difference on people you know but but also kaya must want it thank you thank you very much uh, those are the words that have gotten us to be here like i said we have no intentions of, of of doing this but because we know number one you cannot have kaya as a member of this show in any way uh, as a guest his brother is here simply this is not the first time you've been in media speaking about your brother. This is not the first time that you've called out to say your brother needs assistance, right? Yeah. And in the past, people have said, let us help you. Mm. I know TS Galaxy have reached out at some point. No. They didn't reach out? Never. Through his management company as well? Never. They never reached out? Never. I know at some point he was managed by, I think uh, it was Basha Michaels. Never. She never, like, uh, Pasha, uh, I've been spoken with her, I think. Uh, She's never, never offered you help? It never. The guys at Tears Galaxy never offered you help? I think there is a guy about um Ulisi, Ngobese, which is a kit manager for a DDC team. Uh, we are not going to go to the house. I think it was around 7 o'clock late. And then I go with him and then he take care of me. One sees up until I go to the house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The guys at JDR Stars, they didn't try to reach out? To be honest with you, when I go to the house, I go to the house. 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 The, uh, I'm, I'm saying again, ngibonga kulu ngenda aye nzagmina. Wa wangu zaga kulu. Kinge na i transporting i se park station. He helped me to reach um umva na wagamtambo in in zona na ulala kona wuche idr. With all of the help that you have received, as courtly labuto watulang, have you taken your brother in to? And when as melanin abanda ba kulang enon. Yabo gigan gami sa pati. Gubi. Gami sa kuban to bezul. Office which o. So mse nyangi. Yabo yabo. Na kona ekbe i problem. So ni mumsa mse nyangi ni shuguti ni family no ma we na ni kolo luguti ukula wake uletwa inimsam. And Jenga Banta Bakule Ngesindu. We believe Magwenza Gala isn't as ganje as it's two side of Elinat. A option of Gala C family, Iona, Esa, Kolelo, Wuti, C. Fisumi, Sagubantu, Zulu. So, Mzambe, Nam Gumzulu, Shui, Gashoniti, Utabangam Sambu, Wuti, isn't as a bandulis. Mm, I, I don't know if I'm he he knows she knows the story all too well. Um because in assisting Ukaya, according to you and Ashri Uguti, it's also become into Gutik being a bandaba zuza financially at the expense of Ukaya. Come again? Ubeko into Guti Konabando Mlambe around Ukaya, Abasebin Zisa Isimo Sake Uktolimadi. Bazuze bona. Benga ngai tu kai. Ah, ang funuk pumelo ba la unge ukmenshina ika mabati? Eh, kuge kwa velo guti intoga kai is a scam. I think everyone we boni le gu tweet alion. One of uh, umunto oge wai wai kulum guti intoga kai is scam. My question was guti if it ku is scam, then nama nje ku sa iso na yin. Eh, I get to okay, vela vele every now and then. Tolis Tombe CB, live, bugging a correct corner, guzo velunga eto, 
bese kubane mali ngena bese yaphinda futhi eh mase kube ngathi thuli lesivele futhi sithomba into enjalo oke wa wasebenzisa imali yakhe o oke wavela wa noncedo financially eh ngingakujabulela ukuthi avele aveza ma proof alokho so and we're going to call Bashir just now and we'll speak to you, but i'm just concerned ukuthi uyashi ukuthi umfweni uyambona ukuthi akekho right umsile emtini wesintu kodwa still akekho right angicabanga mhlambi kumthatha nemsene endaweni yabantu abafana nabo adinga uncedo oluhlobo lela adinga ukumisa baba e kumuntu wesintu uh, we fail as a family financially simisile kubantu besintu bathi abantu besintu bebengeke ba basizwele ngako konke bathi financially sikiye sashayeka and then kwayilakho na uh, ekuphinde kwenzeka lezinto uh, aphinda nyamalala kanjalo so guess ngasho sithi cuz nimsile wabuye mm. waphinde wabuye la sengathi ukuthi ayisebenza ngale into yesintu ngeke ngikuvuma ukuthi ayisebenza ngento yesinto engakuqinisekisa ukuthi into ekwakumele siyenze kulo muntu owawezi umnakekela ngale zinto zesinto safeila as a family ukukhipha le uko awawidinga so if you get financial help manje you're going to use that financial help ukumbuyisela emtini wesinto i think um uh, 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 i'm fearful any man no saying as ukuthi if you do Uh-huh. you would to assist him so she could mangathi eh ngitshele ukuthi ngikhokhele bani uzomusa emuntu wesintu ukuthi akwazi ukunceda yeah baba okay good brother michael on the line brother thank you so much for joining us uh, no um you're listening to the conversation as we're going along this is once a time of, once upon a time a player that uh, was on your books hey andile hello to everybody how is everyone doing no we well man yeah no sure under the circumstances i don't think we actually can be well this is true Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately. Pasha, how much do you know um, about the story of 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 Kaya, his brother and his his um mental state because this is not the first and like I said, we've avoided it for for a very long time until Peter reached out to us with this new offer of help. Um but I can imagine people like you who know of the situation and somebody might be sitting there and saying people like Pasha who've, you know, got thriving careers right now. This was once upon a time her player. Why is she doing nothing? <laughs> Um thriving career is quite interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's let's chat to to the inception of all of this, Andy. Um I I do know Kyle's brother quite well. Um I haven't met him uh, face to face with all due respect because at all points in time when I probably would have needed to meet him, I just didn't actually get to see the person. Um despite the amount of money that could have probably been disbursed to him, um at all points in time i didn't ever get to meet the person face to face so sorry but uh, i have to stop you there when you say all money is dispersed to him by mm-hmm. whom by myself um chairman nemasisi uh and dr matume from jdr ubab tugazi from ets galaxy um kolisi who was the driver at the points in time i mean the one time I remember being called quite late at night in the AM about the fact that uh, Abantube Galaxy were housing him. Usui, I actually met him at a soccer match. Um at a at a disky challenge game where he came up to me to say are you Basha and I said yes I am and he then obviously introduced himself to me. I think that was the one occasion that I had met him. So you personally the- given the man sitting with me here Simpia Shozi You've personally spoken to him and given him money. Yes, I've spoken to him on the phone on a number of occasions. I've sent him a number of e-wallets. He, I have his banking details with all due respect. Simple? Uthe akugazi kubena umuntu okunika imali ngizinga kubuza ngaye. We're calling them a CC as well. Uh babu andile yo sis Pasha I think in ama lot of players in uh, Kulmangayo uh, don't I'm um, so frustratedly Upaja if there is a transaction that he, she did she must bring the proof so you've never received money on behalf of your brother never 
I think she doesn't have your banking details. Look, Andy, the, the, one thing, the one thing I'll comfortably tell you I'm not going to do here is I'm not going to do a he said, she said. No, no, uh, for sure. I mean, you're telling if, your if side is, of the story. If this is the reason for your call, I'm not going to get No, not at all. Not at all. Let's, I, let, I, let, let's, let's move I on to say they've taken, they've taken Kaya, of course, to um, the sort of help that the family think he needs. Basha, from your point of view, there's a lot of people listening in. Just before I let sure. you go, what do you think on your end, for those that are listening in and would like to assist, what do you think they need to assist with? The assistance is very difficult because with all due respect, I mean, all, the person that came to me with Ukaya was uh, a doctor called Sponis Ozamini. U doctor, you know, on his own accord with his own connections and everything else that he has done, has put Kaya in an institution from the little bit that I know when we worked on it at that point in time. And we we put our, uh, if I could call it, balls to the wall in terms of resources. And U, U Kaya was released and I had met Kaya. He had gone back to home, the home that I know him to have with the lady that he has a child with and the gentleman, whatever, um, the, the ba- he's, his baby mama's father. And, and we had had a conversation from then on, you know. And he was okay. He was looking after himself. And we had gotten to the point where we were working towards helping him. And once again, Kaya then disappeared. And a year odd later, these are the pictures that are surfacing. And despite the conversations, and I mean, I still speak and I'm in conversation with one or two people that relate to him um, outside of Ushui with all due respect. This is a situation that we found ourselves in. I don't know how else to help Kaya. And go back to the clip that Uba Pito Musimani has said is if Kaya requires the help. How else he has do we to help Kaya it. when he doesn't come here? All you right. know, it's all good and well for anybody in his family to stand on any platform asking for help, wanting help, and putting themselves out. But is that what Kaya wants? Is that who Kaya is? Is that the space that Kaya finds himself in? And this is the difficulty that we have dealt with. With all due respect, and the one person that can account to everything that we have done quite clearly is Nematisi. You know, the chairman of JDR has worked around the clock to make sure that Ukaya was looked after very well. And I know with all due respect, without, without passing figures, I know that he had parted with tens and thousands of rands mm. in helping with the situation. So with all due respect, Ushui is your guest in studio today, and he can never turn around and say, one, I have not helped him, two, JDR has not helped him, and three, TS Galaxy has not helped him. Because there are proof of payments, but I'm not going to get involved in it. He said, she I said, wouldn't want you to. That Thank you very I'm much, Pasha. I appreciate you. Thank you for calling in. That's Pasha Michael. How much have you received? I never received any money from uh, one of uh, ETS Galax Pasha. He just, she just ignored me. No, she didn't ignore you because she sent me proof here. Where? I've got a text of you and her talking. Yes. Um, a screenshot from WhatsApp. Here it is. This is you and Pasha talking. She's saved your number. And there's screenshots of you and her having conversations. She, so it can't be that she's ignored you because, yeah, she, you've answered. You've asked her. Um, you've had conversations with her. So how is it that she's ignored you? No, we we, we talk uh, over the phone. So WhatsApp, now she hasn't then, ignored you. You've he, spoken. No, here I think he, he, to clarify this thing. Mm. Has she ever Basha, given you money? Basha, he never, he never, he never had No e wallet. Nothing. Nothing. If it, there is the e wallet, JDR must, stars have it, never spent tens of thousands on you for your brother. JDR, Nemasisi. Babu Nemasisi, Babu Nemasisi, I'm repeating again. Has he given you money? Yes, he did. Not a, a, a 10,000. You said to me earlier, no one has ever given you money. No, I'm talking about a, a, a TS Galax and JDR. And no, I asked Russia. you, I said JDR stars. You said no. Then uh, you said JDR stars, you once bumped into someone. Has, have people given you money on behalf of your brother? Sorry, uh, is, can I say this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Specifically, Basha mm. is not falling under. Uh, I see me Basha. Bako na bantu abag niga imali bengleta umfuen. Be bengleta mena ugutingwa zukibela. Not imali yokuza umfuen. Tens of thousands of rands is not money yokibela. How much? She said that Unemasisi has given you thousands of rands. A thousand. Thou. Malin. 
Yes, I think it only begu malio wutin gwazu ksuga la e pak station in figure gumdambolap. Gubi and el uh, pitor and then the second a thousand rand. Not is it was not a thousand rand. I so you have in in the same period engens wuting be goba engati ikuni so umnani glon. South Africa Football Players Union have come out to us and they've said, yes, we will assist him to put him in a mental home. Bito said when he comes out of there, we'll give him a job. You've said no one's ever given you money. People yep. are saying, here's, here we go, here's proof. We've given you signigile imali. Le imali wenu ti bebe niga wen. Gepinda futi wabangia veza. Ubaba unemasisi. He help ukaya la esentin etolagala ukaya estradin wamupukela ukuta kwa zuklala. He phoned me epsuk what I put 900 rand for ukaya esentin. The second one, I was in a Deben. Kumele ngifige psuk a Deben. Transport inga senayo. I phoned umdambo. Umdambo wati ngezo chela manje ubabune masisi because utate i upa. I take i upa it was 580. The Uguya Lang Salacon. And then Ugu Lese Ezin, now Lese is Gapasha. No. Okay, we gotta go because our time is up. It's people that are listening, we've offered you the help. Pizza Musimane through MT Sports Management and Moira Musimane have said that they'll give him a job. They'll train him to be a coach. He'll get his D license with them and he'll be in football and he'll earn you know a good salary and work in what he does. Um, the South African Football Players Union, they've said, we're willing to take him and take him to get the psychiatric um, or the psychological help that he needs. It's up to you now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That is uh, Kai's brother, Simpiwa Shosi. Um, I think it is important that when we do these stories, we cover them in a way that is balanced. Um, in order for somebody to receive help, especially if somebody is in a position of what um, Kai is in, we need to be able to make sure that he receives that help. It's important. That's it for our show. Gee, was I think this is the latest I've ever come to you. Um, I, I don't know. Is it? Is it... Uh, Lunch, I owe you. What is it when it's when it's this bad? <laughs> when it's this bad, yeah, what do I owe you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't owe me anything. Bro. Have you seen the picture? Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, let me let me show you. I mean, the guys are exiting the studio. Sorry, and that's why you're hearing um, that noise. Uh, a young man. I mean, this picture shows up every now and then, and this hurrah begins. And we've avoided the story, Manuela, because you know we've we've heard of it being, you know, people using this sort of thing in order to mm. to benefit in some way or another but what you're seeing there in the brown t-shirt is is the person we're talking about Ayin, man. a former player in the PSL so uh, yeah, amba, he'll come back then disappear for a lot of months which one jalo umvoabo you know, and I agree, we still need to help him. And hence, our help is not financial. We're not yeah. saying we're going to give you money. No, we're saying here's a platform. Here are um, professional means for you to get the help that you need. Mm. But one of the barriers is that, of course, the family believes and the brother said it to us. So for them to allow us to say, let's take him to, um, I don't want to say professional because everybody has got a profession and is a professional, but let's take him to a Western way of assisting yeah or both you know Andy. i mean i mean he's sensual. been to the one so let's we try the other the african you know uh, african trigonometry one and then also the one lay and ansika yeah treatment i mean lay african trigonometry as well as we met because song i see you know i come to that that's very personal in their family and we allow them to do that and it's okay sure, we, sure. but okay uh can we assist in this way if if, if so willing if yeah so but willing. look if the family is saying they, they are only interested in the african way then there's very little that you can do. So that's the issue. That's the issue. Um, sure. You know, to say once he's okay, 
here's a, a, a profession. Let's, let's, let's get you educated. Uh, Peter Musimani um, and the MT Sports Management and, and, and you know, the, 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 the coaching system that they've got. Wow. They're saying, come on and let's take you on and let's give you a license Eesh. so that you're able to work within the space that you're good at. But... It's really good, Angie. So, so you know, No, because he was unable to be there and go to training, and he started, you know, wavering and not, uh, you know, fully being there. If okay, if, if if one can sure, put it like that, sure, you know, sure. Timmy, um, he was supposed to be in studio with us, but you know, we couldn't do that to people in this building. He's yeah. not okay. Yeah. Look, I, I mean, I certainly hope that the offers that have been so generously made, you know, by many in the football fraternity will be taken up or at least considered. Um, because, you know, you know, um, Moira Musimani has just sent me a text now saying, doesn't matter, we still need to help. Yeah. And I agree 100%. So, so I, I certainly hope that... Um, some of those offers will be taken up. But it's a sad story. It's a sad story, Andil. Indeed. Indeed. I mean, the guys right now, when we went to find where they were, they're staying at a hotel in Santon. And uh, I question to say, how? You know, I question to say, how? If you're not receiving money from So they're staying the full time? No, no. Uh, well, I mean, I think they've arrived there over the last couple of days. But nonetheless, that's... <laughs> oh, okay. Do you understand? To say financial help through some people is not the way forward yeah but, but the help is out there ish. Uh, let's move on uh, there's a lot happening in south ah hey. <laughs> <laughs> what's going down. on in south ah there's a shut down the shutdown seems to be uh-huh. causing irrational thought in many people national shutdown yeah look and uh, i i'm very concerned with um, about the shutdown no, no, I'm concerned with the narrative on either side um, that is emerging, which I think might serve to inflame a situation, right? Look, in politics, mm. politics, you know, the, uh, I often say the pageantry of electoral politics gives us, you know, um, things like this. You get a shutdown, you get a march, you get a demonstration, you get, you know, a petition, you get, uh, you know... Um, what do they call it? The show boating you see in Parliament, if I can call it that. Mm. You get a lot of that stuff. It's part of the game. Indeed. But the moment that is lifted up from just being the hurly-burly of political contestation to now being discussions of saying, this is a regime change agenda. Mm. And as a result, if there's any anarchy, we will meet it with the full might of the law. And the other side is saying, you know, if you are violent to us, we're not going to respond with roses. Hmm. I get a bit uneasy when it gets to that level. But I said this to you yesterday. I get very uneasy. Hey. No, ben, I, ben, andil, bye, I, let me tell you, let me tell you. No, 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 no. This is not, this is not a case of uh, let me I explain. said to you, I would love to be part of the march, but it's things like that that say to me, I'd rather my safety. But you see, when we were speaking yesterday, it had been one side that True. had engaged in the war talk, right? And I could also say maybe the DA preemptively on Monday when we spoke to them. Mm. But today... You hear it from, I think it was Secretary General of the ANC yesterday as well who was saying regime change. You hear it from the minister in the presidency and the spokesperson of cabinet. You hear it from the president himself hmm. during a state visit of the Tanzanian president. Um, this idea that, you know, this is a form of regime change. And I get it, right? It's, it's the EFF saying part of their agenda, to, you know, in the national shutdown is for the president to step down, right? So maybe it's that part. But... The moment we get into that language, Andile, it's, it, it becomes very murky terrain, bro. Here's what's funny for me. It seems there's a middle part where both parties said, if we win these people over, half of our battle is won. Santaco. Yeah. There's I a tug like, of hey, war. Bra. Ish. You know, Santaco, ne? we're going to be speaking to Santaco today. Hmm. We're going to be speaking to Tumisho Mlelekwa, who speaks on behalf of Santaco. Santaco is interesting because Santaco, you know, if you think about the story that's come out of transaction capital and SA tax in the last while, the taxi bosses are squeezed at the moment. Mm. Interest rates in Yunkile, you know, there aren't enough commuters. I w- haven't gone back in commuter volumes to pre-pandemic levels. People are working at uh, home. You know, people are working people at home. People aren't going to jobs because there aren't any. Cars are being repossessed. Mm. You know, petrol prices are escalating. 
it's just a tight environment for them. And they are saying, Tina, we can't do that. And so we're going to talk about that, Andy, tonight. Um, because in a way, it's the missing puzzle, if I can put it like that. And uh, we're also going to have uh, a discussion tonight with, uh, you know, Avis, ne? Yes. People who do car rentals. Of course. It was spun off from Barlow World. It's now called Zida. We speak to the CEO, Ramasela Kanda. She's our thought leader th- on this Thursday. And a chartered accountant, a former CFO, both in the public service and in corporate. And we talk to her now about this new business. Um, and, of course, her own experiences as well.